Now today we start of a new section on one of the most important parts of any app is to how to share socially or how to use the social sites within your app. Uh, the number of social sites are con continuously increasing and more and more uh, sites now form a part of the uh, the social menu on your app. The most common of them is no doubt is Facebook. Now many sites use this as a login. Many use this to share, to like and to let the friends know of any activity they, that they have been viewing in any particular app. Then there is Twitter, there is Facebook, WhatsApp. So there, there are a number of platforms that you can use to share socially. Now the main objective of this section, this section will be to know how we could use these social sites, how we could let the user share the uh, information that he views on your app with other friends or other uh, community that he shares. So let's start off with Facebook. The most uh, used uh, social companion for any app. And let's see what we need to get started with Facebook. Now sharing socially with Facebook requires that you have to register your app on the Facebook platform, create an app ID for your app and to start off you need a hash key for your project. Now this is the first step to get started with Facebook. You need a hash key for your project and this you can obtain through the key tool or there's a very easy way to get the hash key for your project. And as we complete uh, right more steps on this we'll keep on updating this uh, page with more steps as to how we can integrate Facebook with our own app in Android Studio so let's start with the first step now if this is my main activity called social activity and my package name is something called com dot caps com dot example dot tech dot my first. now this is my package you simply replace this with your package name in this code that I have written in the on create so this is the code you need to add to your on create in your main application uh, in your main activity of your application and then you run this uh, activity and as you can see we we sent the hash key to your logs so you could copy your hash key from your log and keep it to yourself you need in a few moments so this is the first step we've got the hash key for our project uh, through our main activity so then next you need to go to uh, developer.facebook.com slash apps and here you need to create create a new app and register and obtain an ID for your app. So we'll start with step number one, where you uh, you simply say that I need to. Uh, in case you're not registered as a developer, you register as a developer, and then you start building apps with this. Now, if you open uh, click on this my apps. And then it say that you need to if you you need to add a new app and we'll start off by clicking on add a new app and then it will ask you what is the kind of app that you need to get started with we'll select with Android and we'll get a dialog such as this which says what is the category of this after you've given it a new name and then you can proceed to create an app ID simple enough now now you need to give information regarding your project the package name and your launcher activity so this information in case the Facebook app is on your uh, mobile or emulator that you're testing on that it will surely delve deep into your activity and check whether this is the information uh, that you that you give on the Facebook platform is what matches with your actual project so write down the 
project that you have that you'll use uh, with the Facebook and the main activity complete qualified fully qualified name with your package name so once you've given this it'll ask you for a development key hash that we've just obtained when we uh, wrote that code within the on create method the hash that you obtain in that step just copy that here in case you're going in for a development then you need to put your put on your release key here we are so if, if we just started with the development key hash, I put on my development key hash. And then it will give you your app and app ID. So you obtain your app ID here. But before you get started with this app ID, you need to make your app live. So you need to go to the settings and give it some contact email. As soon as you enter this contact email, you need to save this and then on, on clicking on your app, you need to make this live. Just click here and it will go, status will change to live and this circle will now change to a fill disk. And this is how this happens. So just simply you need to go to developer.facebook.com slash apps. And you, if you're not registered as a developer, register as a developer, then select create a new app. And then the entire gamut of steps that we've just seen, just go back and see how, how we've done this. Now here itself, you can see uh, there's a difference between these two apps. This is already live. So this is the symbol that comes next to this. And this is still not live. So we get a disk next to it. So as soon as if you click on this, go to settings add some email save and then you click on this and make this live so i hope i've cleared all the steps that you need in case you're still not able to set up you can always write to us and we can help to see where you were stuck up so create a new app select the platform select the category package and your launcher activity name put in the hash and then you click on this to make it live at your contact email and finally just change the status to live so we've created a new app id go to your project go to strings.xml add your facebook app id there as a variable and give it any name say facebook app id and save your app ID that you just obtained from Facebook. Now, there are some changes you need to make to your Gradle file. So done with step one, done with step two, now let us see the step three, add the Facebook dependency to the Gradle file and add the Facebook app ID that we've just got to the manifest file. So let us get back to these three, two, two points. Now, to my Gradle file, the first thing you need to add is the Maven central link, which is the, the repository that should load from the Maven central. And then within the dependency, you add this com.facebook.android, Facebook Android SDK 3.21.1. So just check out the latest version that is currently in place. So we, I've added this to my dependency and added the repository tag for Maven Central. So this you need to add to your build.gradle. And now let us see what we need to add to the manifest file. So now get, come, coming back to the manifest file. Now I've declared my string, Facebook app ID and the ID that we just obtained from the Facebook, I've added to this string. Now you need to add this metadata. Android name is com.facebook.android.stk.application uh, and add that string to this metadata. Now add another tag to this, which is a Facebook login activity that we may forget later on and get into some error. But this is what is being called by Facebook to get login started. Just add this tag, which is activity. Android name is com.facebook dot login activity to your application tag 
Now, whatever we've done so far, it doesn't include any adding any uh, adding the Facebook app on the emulator. Now, in case you need the Facebook app on the emulator to test how this works with your app, when when the Facebook app is also on the mobile, how it works, then you can download the Facebook 11. APK from. I'll just put on the URL here. Now, if you need the APK uh, on the emulator to test how it works with the uh, Facebook app, you can get this from this URL. Now, if you need the APK uh, on your emulator to test how your app works in the presence of an uh, Facebook app for Android, you need to download uh, the Facebook APK from this URL and then you will need to use the adb install command to copy the apk to your emulator now once this is done takes some time may take up to 30 minutes to uh, load the apk to your emulator so once this is done the uh, your emulator has the facebook app and then when you run your uh, a facebook integration uh, on your app then it will uh, always shift back to the Facebook app for further purposes. So this all depends upon how you want to test. Do it without the uh, Facebook app and do it with the Facebook app on some emulator. So you can test how it works without the Facebook app and how it works with the Facebook app. So we'll just go back how what we've done so far. We've created a hash key. We've registered the app on the Facebook platform and got a Facebook app ID. We've added the dependency to the Gradle file, added the app ID to the manifest file. Also, we've added the Facebook login activity to the manifest file. Now, now all said and done, the small point that we need to see is the permissions. Now, we need two permissions. One is for the internet. Let's see. Although we we've added uh, for many cases before, so our application has those but still if you don't have you just add these two permissions to your application one is for the internet and second is the access network state so just add these two permissions in case you don't your application doesn't already have these so this is all we need to get started with Facebook and if you if you've done all the steps we've shown you so far the Facebook integration should be just a simple job so in next tutorial we start off building up a simple login with Facebook.